Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am April Sunny, and today I just want to discuss with you a few things to think about when trying to find a stylist. I think it is very difficult to find a stylist who actually cares about your hair and, and they don't just look at you as a dollar sign walking through the door. So um, I don't have any lashes on if I look different. Um, I like to look natural. Like I like to look like I can go to Target or Walmart and still look good. I don't need to be all all the time. And I do apologize if the sun is going in and out in this video, but anyway, Let's get started. So referrals, you know, you can ask a friend or frenemy, <laughs> a coworker, a stranger on the street. It is not weird to walk up to a woman and say, hey, your hair is absolutely beautiful. Who does your hair? When you leave with a compliment, it's, it warms that person up and they will be happy to tell you, oh, I go to so-and-so down the street. Let me give you her number. Or, oh, thank you, my sister does it. And that is an intro or a segue, I should say, for you to then say, do you mind sharing her information with me or her Instagram handle with me? Because I really like to have her do my hair. I've been looking for a stylist. Always lead with the compliment, you guys. Don't stare at people all weird from across the room. I mean, it'll make them just walk away from you. I've had that a few times, people just staring at me and it's just like, what the hell are you looking at? Am I in Martian? Like sometimes I feel like it, but damn, you're making it like solidified. Like you're not you're from, not here. from here. here. So once you've found your stylist and gotten your referral or whatever, it is important to schedule a consultation with that person. Just like when you go to a new primary care doctor, a lot of primary care doctors will want to have you establish care instead of going right into a physical. Some doctors just want to see you first. And you know what? Stylists should be the same way. It should always start with a consultation, you guys. Make sure you're comfortable with the environment that the stylist is working out of. And you have to be comfortable with the person that you found and that you're choosing to invest your money in. Which brings me right into the next one, interest. If the stylist goes right into, oh, you will look good with this, or oh, you will look good with that. Let me show you these extensions. Let me show you this, this um, the hair color book or whatever, whatever. If they are leading with that, then you are a dollar sign to them. They just want to sell you something. If the stylist does not take interest in the health of your hair, get up and walk out. Just walk out. The conversation should never start with what products they can offer you without even knowing what condition your hair is in, what you've been doing, and where you're trying to go with your hair. It should never lead with the product. It should, that discussion should always take place during that consultation. If that doesn't happen, the date, if that doesn't happen, they do not have an interest in your hair. Um, the conversation should always start with the state of your hair and the routine that you're currently in and where you want to be and how we as a team <laughs> are going to get you to the space that you want to be in with your hair. Also, if the stylist hasn't scared you enough to get up and walk out, this leads me into the next one, number four, which is transparency. Stylists are not Miss Cleo. They're not Cleo. They don't know what you want until you tell them what you want, okay? We, we're not mind readers. You have to be very, very clear in what you are looking for because you may say something one way but me as a stylist i'm hearing it some some completely different way and that's why some people find it easier to not only say it but give a visual some people will bring a picture in um because what you see as reddish brown stylists are trained to see the undertones of color from the color wheel so you may see reddish brown, but to us, that's not reddish brown. That's neutral. That has green in it. That has blue in it. That's not, you know, that's 
not a Raiders brand. So it is very important to be completely clear in what you are looking for. And if that means bringing in a picture, then so be it. We're not afraid of pictures. And we can absolutely tell you if there is a certain hair color that you're looking for, if your hair can actually handle that hair color um, during with the state of wherever your hair is. I hope that made sense. Most stylists are not timid people if you show them something and describe or and or describe something that you know your hair cannot handle or they cannot provide for you they are going to tell you very very quickly i don't think your hair can handle that we have to get it healthy enough to handle that in the meantime i can give you this and a lot of people do get upset with their stylists when their stylists do not do exactly what they want them to do. But you have to understand sometimes your hair is not in the state of health to handle that type of hairstyle. So just keep that in mind when you are going to your salon and saying, I want this, 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 that, and the third. Make sure your hair is in good health. To handle this this that you know and side note i just want to ask a quick question you guys can answer it down below but why is it that other cultures can specialize in certain areas of hair like you have your colorist you have you know people who specialize in a certain type of haircut you have people who just do blowouts and they're they specialize in a signature blowout like why is it that other cultures can specialize in a certain area of hair styling and they can still make double the money that us brown people make but black people have to know how to do the whole kitchen sink like we got to be able to know how to do absolutely everything specialize in what you specialize in what that's all you do well can i get a discount i mean that's all you do i mean we got to know how to do absolutely everything. And you know what? I feel like it's just, it's, it's totally whack. Because when I was into doing hair, I enjoyed hair dye and extensions. I really, really enjoy all forms of extensions. I actually am certified in five different ways of doing hair extensions. I'm really, really good at it. And, um, I, you know, just because I am who I am, <laughs> and all my chocolateness. People expected me to do the whole kitchen sink. And it's like, you know, you're going to do what you're drawn to. I don't like overly done hair. I don't like structured hair. I like, you know, effortless kind of looking hair. And, you know, most of us don't like that. So there's that. Number five, cleanliness. It is very important that your new stylist environment is clean. I don't know about you, but I do not want to sit in somebody else's dandruff and dead hair and whatever else fell out of that lady's head. I don't want to sit in it. Make sure you take a look at that barbicide jar. That barbicide jar is going to tell you a lot, okay? <laughs> it's important to clean your hair tools. Make sure your stylist has a clean barbicide jar that he or she is actually using, okay? Dirty hair tools will absolutely stunt the growth of your hair. Q&A time. So during your time in the stylist chair, ask as many questions and get as many questions answered that you have on your heart. If you have something you have been thinking about or you just... You want to figure it out you need to go ahead and ask those questions and you need to feel comfortable doing it because you are paying this person for a service and you want to absolutely know full circle like what does the service entail like anything you want to ask you should be able to ask i believe someone who is there for the health of your hair is going to answer these questions with zero, zero problems, problems. They will welcome the questions actually because they want you to be informed about your hair. You got to think about it. You are their walking billboard. So if they are not answering your questions and teaching you how to take care of your hair 
at home until your next service, then no one's going to stop them on the street and be like, oh, who does your hair? As a matter of fact, some of them be like, you go to a stylist? Really? So it is important to them if, if they care about the health of your hair, it is going to be important to your stylist to make sure that your hair is in good condition and you absolutely know how to take care of your hair at home. And they're going to ensure that before you leave them. So I hope this has helped someone. Um, I think this should be another short video. I sh it shouldn't be long at all. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope this has helped someone. And until the next time, be love. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can subscribe there, there. And watch the next video. Mm.